Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Less than two weeks before the most ominous sign in the entire history of the United States appears above our heads, a bridge named after the author of the text of the U.S. National Anthem, has collapsed after a key support structure was rammed by a massive cargo vessel. The Star Spangled Banner is the best-known national anthem on the entire world, and it is one of our most cherished national symbols. Some have suggested that the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore symbolizes the collapse of America itself. If this is true, could it be possible that the destruction of this bridge was some sort of a warning for America? The Biden administration insists that the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge was just an accident. Perhaps that is true. But as you can see from this video, the cargo vessel that brought down the bridge had to make a very precise turn in order to hit the support structure that it rammed. It turns out that this particular cargo vessel is owned by a company known as Synergy Marine Group. Called the Dolly, the 948-foot vessel that hit the bridge is managed by Synergy Marine Group, a Singapore-based company with over 660 ships under management around the world, according to its website. The group said the ship was operated by charter vessel company Synergy Group and chartered by Danish shipping giant Maersk at the time of the incident, which sent vehicles and people tumbling into the Patapsco River. On the official website of the company, they boldly proclaim that they are deeply committed to DEI. Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, or DEI, are made integral to the people's strategy at Synergy Marine Group, very simply because this is the right thing to do, and it resonates with the ethos of the organization in building a collaborative work environment. All aboard is the familiar quayside cry that was used to tell passengers, and sometimes crew too, that they needed to get on quickly as the ship would sail soon, and its encouraging, inclusive and collegiate tenors are playing in the Global Maritime Forum's All Aboard Alliance. Synergy fully supports the alliance for a diverse, equitable and inclusive maritime industry, which brings together those industry leaders who are committed to pursuing the DEI journey and building an innovative and sustainable maritime sector, which all can be proud of. Is this yet another example where DEI should be spelled DIE instead? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. It has also been revealed, that the captain of the vessel, is a Ukrainian. Maritime job placement company Baltic Shipping, shows the captain of the container ship as a Ukrainian. That certainly puts a different spin on things, doesn't it? At this stage, we do not know if the Ukrainian captain was on board the ship at the time of the accident or not. But what we do know is that the ship was involved in a serious accident previously. The ship and Tuesday's crash, Dolly, was involved in at least one prior accident when it collided with a shipping pier in Belgium. That 2016 incident occurred as the Dolly was leaving port in Antwerp and struck a loading pier made of stone, causing damage to the ship's stern, according to Vesselfinder.com, a site that tracks ships across the world. An investigation determined a mistake made by the ship's master and pilot was to blame. Hopefully this latest incident was just another accident. But, there are many that are suggesting that sinister forces were at work. For example, Lara Logan is reporting that her sources believe that this was an absolutely brilliant strategic attack. Multiple intel sources. Baltimore Bridge collapse was an absolutely brilliant strategic attack on US critical infrastructure, most likely cyber, and our intel agencies know it. In information warfare terms, they just divided the US along the Mason-Dixon line exactly like the Civil War. 
In an extended post on Twitter, Logan went into a tremendous amount of detail regarding what her sources are telling her. Make no mistake. This was an extraordinary attack in terms of planning, timing and execution. The two critical components on that bridge are the two load-bearing pylons on each end, closest to the shore. They are bigger, thicker and deeper than anything else. These are the anchor points, and they knew that hitting either one of them would be a fatal wound to the integrity of the bridge. Half a mile of bridge went in the river, likely you will have to build a new one. Also caused so much damage to the structural integrity of the bottom concrete part that you cannot see and won't know until they take the wreckage apart. Structural destruction likely absolute. Attack perfectly targeted. They have figured out how to bring us down. As long as you stay away from the teeth of the US military, you can pick the US apart. We are arrogant and ignorant lethal combination. Obama said they would fundamentally change America, and they did. We are in a free fall ride on a roller coaster right now, no brakes, just picking up speed. The footage shows the cargo ship never got in the approach lane in the channel. You have to be in the channel before you get into that turn. Location was precise and deliberate. Chose a bend in the river where you have to slow down and commit yourself. Once you are committed in that area, there is not enough room to maneuver. Should have had a harbor pilot to pilot the boat. You are not supposed to traverse any obstacles without the harbor pilot. They chose a full moon, so they would have maximum tidal shift, rise and fall. Brisk flow in that river on a normal day, and have had a lot of rain recently, so water was already moving along at a good pace. Did it with enough kinetic energy to knock the load-bearing pylon out from under the highway, which fatally weakens the span, and then 50% of the bridge fell into the water. All these factors when you look at it, this is how you teach people how to do this type of attack, and there are so few people left in the system who know this. We have a junior varsity team on the field. Tremendous navigational obstruction. Huge logistical nightmare to clean this up. She makes a lot of good points. Even if a group of terrorists had planned to purposely bring down the bridge, it would have been extremely difficult for them to do a better job. On another note, Now the End Begins, is pointing out that the Netflix disaster movie, entitled Leave the World Behind, featured cargo ships that caused chaos by sailing off course. On November the 22nd, 2023, the official launch of the movie Leave the World Behind, that was produced and co-written by Barack and Michelle Obama happened. The first thing that happens in that movie is a blackout of mobile device service. Exactly three months to the day later, on February the 22nd, 2024, for 13 hours, America was in the grip of an unprecedented and unexplained disruption of mobile device service. The second thing to happen in the Obama movie was the shocking appearance of cargo ships that sailed off course, causing mayhem. Today in Baltimore, a foreign cargo ship rammed into and wiped out the massive 1.6-mile-long Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland. That's 242. Coincidence. Is this a case of life imitating art, or art imitating life? General Flynn is using the term black swan event to describe what just happened in Baltimore. And he seems to think that terrorists may have been involved. We shall see. But in any event, I think that it is quite strange that out of all the bridges in America, it was one named after the author of the text of the US national anthem that was hit. If that bridge was meant to represent America, I think that it is a very bad sign that it just collapsed. And in less than two weeks, the Great American Eclipse of 2024 will complete the giant X over America that the Great American Eclipse of 2017 started. There are many that are mocking the long string of coincidences that we have been witnessing, but they are the ones that should be paying attention most of all. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.